Hi there, uh, I'm going to be giving you a few tutorials um, about Photoshop. Some will be easier than others, but that's okay. And I'll start by saying one thing about Photoshop. I know it can be a little intimidating at first, kind of like every Adobe program out there it seems like. But depending on how much time you take to put into it to learn it and understand what it can do, which is quite a bit, you're going to find out that it's actually going to be pretty easy after a while. Now the tutorials I'll be making will deal separately with graphic design and actual photos because you can't use Photoshop the same for both. You can if you integrate the both of them, but I'm just going to separate them and maybe combine them later to kind of bridge that gap. So uh, let's get started. We're going to keep it real basic here. Um, first I'm going to go ahead and go up to File, New. And depending on what you're working with, we'll you know, tell you how big or what size you want your image to be. But I'm going to go ahead and make mine 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi. And that will give us a basic starting place here of your canvas and what you can start with. So um, I don't want to get into layers too much here, but if you notice here, on your layers palette and if that isn't already open just go to window and go down to layers or hit F7. Um, all you have to worry about with layers is if you think about a cake and you, you have the, the bottom of the cake and then maybe some fruit and uh, you know the frosting on top of that maybe more cake all it is is layers on top of each other and if you're gonna look at the cake straight down you would see all these things on top of each other well we're looking at images uh, as if we're looking directly onto them and so all that you have to worry about with layers is what is on top over here is going to be the very top and if you see this one's called background so this is the very base the very starting place of our layer and we're going to do something very simple here we're just going to make a simple shape we're going to make a circle and we're going to fill it in with color and that's where we're going to start with today. So all we have to do to start this is go down when you're on your layers palette, go down here to where it says new layer and you'll go ahead and click that and you'll notice that a new option came up. This is layer one. And now that we have two layers on our layers palette, we can actually take away the background and these little eyeballs just indicate what can be seen and what can't. And so whenever the eyeball is on, you uh, can see it. And when it's not there, you cannot. It's pretty basic. So as you can see, whenever we click that eyeball, that white background layer went away. So now, and, and what all this means is that it's completely transparent. So if you ever see these, these gray squares or the white squares, however they're colored, that means it's transparent. So don't want to get into that too much, but just so you know what that is. So let's just stick with a white background for right now. Um, and the way that I make circles, there are different ways to make them. There's a million different ways to make the same thing in Photoshop. But the way that I do it, and I find very easy, is going over here to the Marquee tool, which is going to be right under your Move tool. And you can see that it's on a square right now, and we want to make that a circle. So let's click and hold, and you'll see that more options come up through that menu. And we're going to want to hit the elliptical marquee tool. Just put your mouse over it and let go. Now you can see that it's a circle. So depending on the kind of circle you want to make, whether you want it to be a perfect circle or more of an oval, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and make mine a perfect circle. Now to do that, uh, okay, well, let's go backward here for a second. Let's say you want to make an oval. And so we can start introducing key, uh, key commands in later. If you want to make an oval, all you have to do is click down and you'll see the crosshairs that are out that'll indicate that you're ready to make shape and just drag. Those dotted lines will indicate where your path is being created. And whenever you find the shape that you want, basically just let go. Now you'll see that that path stays there and, uh, there's your oval generally. Now, all this is is a selection. All this is is saying this is the part that I want to work with right here. All you all all these dotted lines are telling you right now is 
I only want to work inside of here. Everything outside of here will not be affected no matter what I do. So I'll give you an example of that. So let's get our uh, paint bucket tool. Pretty easy to find. You can hit that or G and it'll give you the paint bucket tool. And you can see that indicator is ready to go. And now let's pick the color that we want. So if you come down here, these are your uh, foreground and background colors. And we want to work with the foreground color today. So if you'll just click on that foreground color, this will give you your color picker. And you have a ton of options of colors that you can use. Uh, you can go through and pick all kinds of stuff. But we're going to do a simple red color today. We'll just keep it about right there. All you have to do is select where you want it and then hit OK. And you know it worked because uh, it'll change the color down here. Now, I'll give you an example of what we were talking about with selections just a minute ago. So, like I was saying, all this oval says is I want to use this selection here and nothing else. What's inside of here, I want to use and that's it. So, if we were to click outside of it, nothing happens because that circle is saying this is the only place that I want to work with. But if we go inside of the circle and we click, you can see that we have now made the color red with that oval. Now, let's go backwards a minute. I'm going to go ahead and undo. What you can also do if you select your background layer, you can put red in there as well. But beware because this now means that this circle is now a part of your background layer. And if you look over here to the layers palette, you can see the red circle in with the white. Now, unless you're planning on never doing anything with that oval again, that's fine. If you think you have it perfect, that's fine because now this is all one image. But in this case, we don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo again. I'm gonna select layer one and fill it in with my red oval. And you'll notice here that it's red on this circle the white is separate from that and there is transparency behind it. Now I'll show you how that is true. So, and let's notice here, the dotted lines are still around our oval, which means there's still nothing else we can do outside of it. So as soon as we're done with our selection, you can come back to your marquee tool, right click and hit deselect or you can just hit Command D. Now you'll notice that we have just the oval by itself. So, and then I'll show you more how this transparency works. If we go and deselect our background, you'll see that we have just the oval and nothing else behind it. So, that is just a little bit more explanation of how layers work, but we'll get into that another day. So, now we have this oval and there's a few things that you can do with it. I'll show you one real quick thing and then we'll wrap up. You can move the oval. Let's say that you didn't like where you put it because it's not always easy to get it exactly right the first time. So let's say you want to move this oval, say, to the left corner. So we will go to our Move tool, or you can hit V, and that will give you the same tool. And you'll see that uh, it's selected differently now. It's selected as an object rather than as a selection. So, and with these crosshairs in the middle that shows you exactly the center of where this image is. So, we're going to go ahead and just click and drag. And so you just click and drag. We'll put it up to the left corner there and it'll just fit right in. Now, as soon as we're done uh, moving it, let's say you're finished, you can just click uh, you know, outside of that, of, of your canvas here, and that'll get rid of those uh, selection boxes so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, one last thing that you can also do with the move tool is you can also uh, distort it a little bit. You can change the shape of it. Let's say you didn't mean to make this an oval, but you don't want to go back and make a perfect circle because you like the way that this oval looks for some reason. So if you go with your move tool, you're on the move tool, go to one of the edges and you'll see that these little arrows come up and if you click and drag, you can change the shape of the oval so we can make it more circular shaped. Now, there's one thing to keep in mind here. Um, you have now transformed the image from what it was originally. So Photoshop now says, 
uh, hey, this is different, and you have to save it in order for it to look this way again. Now, you have to say, okay, or no, I didn't actually mean to do that. And that's pretty easy to know whenever you've transformed something, because if you go up here and look, there's uh, this cancel transform or this commit transform. Now, if you like the circle that the way it is, you're going to go ahead and hit commit. And if you don't, you'll just say cancel. And all whenever you hit cancel, we'll just do it real quick. Whenever you hit cancel, that's just going to put it back to the way it was before. So I didn't want to get into that too much, just a few basic tips to get you started. Uh, you have a little bit more understanding of layers and backgrounds and colors and a few other things. Uh, we'll go ahead and do something different with this circle in the next video. We'll make it look a little bit nicer. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped out a little bit. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.